love bugs is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, just thank you so much for the love and support, being patient with me and just supporting me along this ride and in my journey as well. It's while you're going on yours. With that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has been, you know, gave you good information or just gave you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or friend, go ahead, please do. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for showing the channel and as well as me love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today I'm listening to sleep meditation music stop overthinking activating inner strength 432 hertz sleep music you know we need that sometimes we overthink stuff sometimes and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas are y'all been feeling drained lately y'all oh my gosh it's just like i've been you know resting for the last two days i've been doing a lot of one-on-ones with a lot of my fellow, you know, my Hayokas, you know, we're all going through stuff, and, you know, sometimes we need somebody from the outside in, you know, to be able to look at the things that we might not pay attention to, or we might not even recognize or acknowledge, and, you know, sometimes that can be hard, but when you actually have that support, you know, on, you know, having somebody to talk to, and, you know, just basically just get clarity. And it's just so many things that we have been supporting each other. It's like, you know, I've been um, just just trying to recharge y'all. And I still, I'm still tired. I'm still tired. I mean, so many good blessings happened for me today. But it's just like, it's that kind of tired. You would think if you were depressed or something. I'm like, dang, I feel like I'm drained in so many different directions. Been trying to sleep, drink plenty of water, even eating vegetables, more vegetables. And I'm just like... What is wrong with me? And there's just so many empaths are like, Rosalind, I've been drained too. And, you know, I, last, what was it, the night before last, I had a dream like I was in Orange is the New Black. I said, you could have just dreamed me up in any show. But why Orange is the New Black? I'm not trying to be in jail, even though that show was funny. And, you know, it had interesting content. That's not where I want to be. Because <laughs> I know in real life, I say I ain't doing nothing that's going to get me locked up. So it's just like, I, I was just like, okay, I'm having these really crazy dreams. So I stopped wearing my nicotine patch at night. And I haven't been, you know, I actually, I'm proud of myself because I have not needed the nicotine gum for the last three days or my patch for the last three or four days. So I'm like, kudos, Rosalind, kudos, I'm happy. So it's just like, I'm so proud of myself. And I don't know if it's just because I've been detoxing and stuff like that, not smoking marijuana or anything. And being able to get that clear path because it was like when I used to smoke marijuana, it was like me getting in touch with my higher self, seeing things I wasn't normally able to see when I was, you know, just straight sober. But now it's like, okay, you can't use that as the excuse all the time. You have to try to see if you can do this on your own without having to, you know, smoke marijuana. So it's just like, I feel so much better, even though I don't fault anybody else that does it because you never know what somebody needs that for. Because, you know, there's so, you know, Marijuana is actually good for people that have AIDS, cancer, uh, seizures, Parkinson's. You know, I've heard a lot of kids that, you know, I guess it's like the CBT or whatever they call it, THC or whatever, in the cannabis or something like that. I forgot I was doing research on it. And it's like the kids were, you know, I guess they had seizures where they were having them like, I mean, really bad. And I know just from me having it, and thank God, God bless me, where I only had it for like about six to eight months. I think it was like six to eight months, but it seemed like forever. And I know how that felt just for that moment in time. And I'm just like, it felt like my head was about to explode, but I can knock on wood and say, thank God. I haven't had a seizure since like, I think August of 2007. 2007 2008 is the last time I had a really bad seizure because they said it was genetic so they said it could last for the rest of your life or it can you know 
it can last for a couple months. It can be touch and go. So I was just like blessed that I didn't have that anymore. But, you know, it's just like going through these dreams. I mean, then dealing with the dad on Mercury, Mercury retrograde. It's like my computer would act up. My phone would freeze up. You know, I'd be trying to do live you know, in the afternoon, but I had to stop that because it was like the signals were really bad. I don't know if everybody was just jumping on at that time or I was uploading or whatever, but I was just like, dang, it's just so many things that's going on. And I know somebody, all the rest of the dad on empaths, y'all got to be going through the same thing too. It's like, you know, things are turning around for you, but it's just like all your energy has been pulled in so many different directions. And you're like, dang, you know, am I going through a big major ascension? And it's just like, you know, my, I think it's my moon rising or I think it's my moon rising is Gemini. So it's like, you know, the Gemini moon just passed. So that could be, a, uh, you know, some of the reasons why I'm still going drain. And I said, I apologize y'all because, you know, I was gone for two days and then I didn't do live either. So it was just like when I'm in that mood, like if I'm on a funky mood or if I'm just drained, I don't want to project that out on y'all. So I just rather just shut everything down and just not do it. So it's just like I missed y'all so much. But Rosalind had to go ahead and recharge. And it just, you know, I get frustrated with myself because it seems like I have to recharge a lot more than I used to. I don't know if it's just because, you know, I'm doing live now. And plus I'm doing one-on-ones with other people. And, you know, doing, you know, answering a lot of emails from, you know, people all over the world that's going through stuff. And it's just like I love what I do. I really love what I do. So it's just like, it's, it's a blessing to be able to, you know, talk to people and, you know, let them know there's somebody that's resonating out there with them. They're not losing their minds or, you know, they're not, you know, when they feel alone, they're not really alone. It's just that we all have to go through these things and, you know, just basically clearing all our, our karmic past this is just that's what it feels like to me i'm really clearing out my karmic past because i'm like god dog what did i do in the past that was so bad that i gotta drain this you know it's draining me this much but it feels like it's like a vacuum just sucking it all up out you know out at once and i'm just like you know what just relax you know go with the flow you know my home girl I had to tell me girl if you don't go sit down and just go relax and I'm just like well I should I feel like I should be doing a video or I feel like I should be doing live or something like that but it was just like you know what I had to recharge I'd get some rest you know so hopefully all this is that we're going through I really feel like this is the last time we really got to go through it I really think I'm hoping and praying this has to be over by the end of the year <laughs> which we don't really got that long left but you know i hope you were able to resonate with the content of the video let me know if you've been going through the same thing too because i'm still doing research and trying to figure out why are we going through all this stuff right now so if you got an idea please drop me a line so i can go ahead and find out what it, what it is or whatever and let me know are you resonating with the things that i'm talking about so send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are blessed, love, and highly favored, and truly loved. I, don't, I know I said that twice, but knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And um, let me go. Post notification shout out goes to Best Four Nineteen. Much love to you, fam. I hope you had a blessed week, and you know have a safe weekend. And give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites, y'all. And if, you know, drop me a line, I'd love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And like, like, and subscribe, and even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And I'll see you later. Peace. Be wild.